everyone and welcome back. Danganronpa, trigger happy havoc. So, we're back in the main hall because we were just called out after the in the murder investigation to go help Byakuya with whatever else he's doing. So, we came to the main hall. So, what are we looking for here? Does that mean I have to figure it out for myself? Yeah, come on now. This wouldn't be a game. Am I looking at the trophies? No. The mini guns. The surveillance camera and the, and there's what I can only assume is a gun attached to it. It's so chilling. So that's the same thing. Servers? There's a mailbox here. Could there be something inside? <coughs> it's an e-handbook? No, wait, there's three of them. What are they doing here? Hmm. So you finally found them. Huh? Do you know these were here, Byakuya? <laughs> I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. Seems there's a system in place where the handbooks of dead students get delivered to this mailbox. So then, these three handbooks belong to Junko, Leon, and Sayaka? Hmm. You can go ahead and confirm it yourself. I immediately turned on one of the handbooks, and when I did... Sayakia Maizona. You're right! This is Sayakia's handbook! Hmm. So now do you understand? This is the key to the loophole I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. Wait, so you can just take one of these guys' key cards and just keep it? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So you can just take a handbook anytime you want. I see. Yeah, now I understand. That seems a little... <laughs> Don't tell who me about this. <laughs> Main Hall E handbooks have been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. What? Hmm, hold on a second. What's Very wrong? Strange. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. Is it broken? Who is it? The other handbook showed Junko's name when I started it up. And the one that won't turn on must be Leon's, right? I see. It makes sense, yes. After all, I did get pummeled with dozens and dozens of baseballs. Pummeled with baseballs? Oh gosh, no. Memory of it came flooding back. Yeah. No, this was that, was that was brutal. <laughs> the cruel punishment which led to Leon's death. The execution that the mastermind concocted. A cruel, heartless death. Oh, I gotta think of an execution for Chihiro now, since uh, she didn't get one. Uh... Probably some like ex. Well, since she's like computer programmer, maybe like attack by robot, electrocution from electric cables. Um, is she? She's not really a gamer, is she? I don't know. I don't remember. But if so, could be like a. I don't know. I really don't. All right, you're right. It wouldn't be surprising for the handbook to break during that kind of assault. Hey, 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 Wh what? That e handbook is essential to student life here, crucial, integral, instrumental, but super big deal. There's no way it would break that easily, but it did. If I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't freaking break. It can withstand up to 10, 000, 10 tons of pressure, and it's waterproof up to 100 meters, okay? I don't care how many baseballs hit it with, it won't do crap. But, uh, even my amazing handbook does have one single weak point. It does, but it's a secret. I would want you to go breaking any more handbooks. What? Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing what its weakness was, right? Hmm. hmm, hard to say. You know what I think? I think his handbook isn't actually broken. But you may ask, how could that be? Leaving the question hanging in the air, Monokuma disappeared. What just happened? Monokuma said it's not broken, but it's an undeniable fact that it's not turning on. That's fine. <laughs> Well, I don't see any connection to the case, so it doesn't matter for now. You think so? Either way, something about it still bothers me. It's not charged? Maybe? Do you need a charging cable for it? I mean, if my phone won't turn on, that's my first idea. <laughs> okay, then. This should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Chihiro. Hmm. To be exact, not quite. Huh? Not quite? What do you mean by that, Byakuya? To be exact, not quite. 
Certainly I want to reveal Chihiro's killer, but more precisely, I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Then you really think, you truly believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro? Don't make me repeat Absolutely, myself. I have no doubt that, doubt that Genocide Jack is the culprit in this case. The, that murderous fiend is Genocide Jack, right? What? There's nobody else it could be. Murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And what nickname did that internet give to this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack. They say he's killed thousands of people, but gotta, but that's gotta be an um, urban legend. Still, could one of us really be demented, psychotic killer like that? <laughs> You're not wrong to wonder. I'm saying, it could be Sakura. It could be Sakura. But words means little right now. I have something that will prove it, and I can show you. Hmm. Oh, there's still more to be waiting to be checked out. What? Really? This? The hunk of metal blocking entrance seems like some sort of machine. What more should I check out? Oh gosh. Don't make and I have a basis to believe that I believe that. I assure you, Genocide Jack is one of us. What's your basis, good sir? Reaction. Is there really proof? There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This will provide all the evidence you need. <gasps> Are you finally going to allow me into the record room? It's all clear now. Evidence that Genocide Jack is one that killed your hero. Evidence? Does something like that really Ah, hey you two? Big trouble, need your help. I don't have time. We're to busy, play with leave you. us alone. But it's an emergency, emergency! Come on, please, you gotta help me! Well, what is this emergency? Not so gosh damn itchy nose. Please! That's fine. I mean... But, but, it's an emer emergency! What is the emergency? Well... Something's wrong with Toko. She's acting super strange. Well, I mean, she was acting pretty strange earlier, right? What should we do, Biakia? Very strange. Since it's Toko, I must admit, I'm intrigued. I suppose we could take a second and see what's going on with her. Are you sure? Don't make me, Don't repeat, make me myself. repeat myself. I didn't expect I didn't expect that. I thought for sure he'd just say no and that'd be the end of it. Yeah. Okay, okay, come on, hurry. Wait for us, Hina. Let's go. Looks like she heads to the dorms to Toko's room, most likely. You're right. Yep. Oh. I talk. You're talking to the wrong person, you waste of space. <laughs> hmm. You guys are too slow! I think you're just too fast? Hmm. So, what's the emergency? So, well, um, after what happened in the girls' locker room, we left Toko in her room so she could lay down. After a while, we came back to check on her, you know? See how she was doing, but when we did, hmm. it was weird. She refused to come out, and she kept saying all this weird stuff. Weird stuff? That's fine. We should talk to her ourselves. Yeah. Good idea. Toko! What's up? May as well give it a shot. Dig it on. The door swung open slowly and silently. Why are you shaking? <laughs> Holy crap! An aura of negativity flowed out from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that uh, Hina was really worried about you. Pulling the only thing I'll make room. her come out is the Akiya. I, I, I have a good Maybe feeling about that. Um, yeah, sure thing. But could you open up just for a second? I won't allow it. Interesting. Huh? I won't let Genocide Jack have control. Oh, what? Just like that, she slammed the door in my face. What, what was that? She's been acting like that the whole time, when I rang a little while ago. I'll d drive out the killer, to drive out the murderous speed. Um. It doesn't make any sense, right? I was afraid to leave her in there alone, so I tried to bust down her door. <coughs> but it felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. I couldn't even budge it. Toko was scared even enough to bar her, her door. Does she think the same thing as Biakia? Does she think that the serial killer genocide Jack really murdered Chihiro? Well, how do you expect to drive it out if you got the door locked? Like, you're not driving anyone out. I mean, okay, maybe you're driving them out of your room, but... Is that why Toko's so scared? But... 
Whatever it is, I'm really worried about her. Is there anyone who might be able to persuade her? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Hey, Byakuya, you think you can ask her? Come out of her room, I mean? That's fine. Sure, whatever. Huh? You're gonna talk to her, Byakuya? Wow, I guess you can be nice when you want to. Byakuya stood in front of her door, not making a sound, and pressed the doorbell. After a few moments. What do you want? Then <laughs> leave me alone. You're, you're all so, so, so annoying. Bakula. Bakula? It's Byakuya. It's... <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't keep our promise. But don't worry. Never again. I I won't let Genocide Jack ever have control again. The door slammed shut. Even Byakuya couldn't pull it off. Hm. There's nothing else we can do. Let's just go back to the investigation. Uh, hold on. Hey, Byakuya. What was talk Toka talking about just now? Something about a promise? What? Hmm. Oh, I have no idea. Another one of her delusions, I'm sure. But... but Stop if talking. I say I don't know, that means I don't know. Just let Hina take care of her. Hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. I'll stay here and keep an eye on her. Let's go. Well, then let's go. Hmm, Yakiya, you're something slightly suspicious, you know. Did, uh, Toko see you murder and, uh... She's protecting you? Without waiting for a reply, Yakiya sped away. But Yakiya! And I heard to catch up. I tried to talk to him several times as we walked, but he didn't even look back, let alone say anything. He just kept on walking towards his destination. Finally, his feet brought us to a stop in front of a certain room. The library? Hmm. Come on, let's go in. <gasps> Your holy ground. The space that you like. Um, is the evidence that proves it was Genocide Jack really in the library? Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me say it again. If I remember, on the other side of the door is the archive. Oh, it's called archive, not records. Hurry up and go inside. Oh, here? Let's go. I'll make it all make sense once you're inside. I thought you said there was nothing good inside. There's a whole bunch of books. Whoa, there's so many books and files, and so much dust too. So in other words, I would say there's enough value in this place to endure the dust. <sighs> I can explore so much. Photos. There's a wooden box. It's empty. Although, judging by the smudge of the dust, it looks like there was something inside. I wonder what it was. Hmm. There was an extension cord plugged in there. It proved very useful while I was in the library. An extension cord, huh? Wait! Wait! Wait, that's the same extension cord! Wait! <laughs> the extension cord that was tying up, uh, Shihiro. Huh, wait, 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 maybe it, maybe it wasn't Sakura Mondo or uh, Taka. Maybe it was Byakuya, because like, I don't think he let anyone else into this place. Like, he kept on blocking me, at least. Huh, it's a desk lamp. Oh, yeah, it's the same one I saw Byakuya using in the library before. What? Do you have any problem with that lamp? It was here before, then I moved it over there. It's too dark over there, so I thought I'd put it to good use. Uh, what's up here? Oh, it's a camera. There's even a surveillance camera here. Surveillance camera everywhere. This shelf is stuck tight with files. Without really thinking about it, I picked one at random. Hmm. Ah, you have a sharp eye indeed to select that file, huh? That's, right. That's the report on presidential assassination. The original is kept at the National Library. I won't be. It won't be disclassified for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it now? <laughs> There's no telling who, whose crosshairs might wind up in it for it, peeking at it. Without making a sound or refer the, <laughs> return the file to the shelf. <laughs> Interesting. Why is that here? There's so many files stuff on the shelf. What's all these all these That's things? Enough. Those documents are dangerous. Dangerous? Did you tell all the people who control the world from behind the scenes? Dangerous truth for a commoner. You mean like members of the diet or something? No, I mean the ones that have real power. The secret council control like everything from the shadows. If you're ready to be disappeared for it, take a look. There are some very interesting people in there. You're just kidding, right? Hmm. Am I? 
I'll, I'll just let it go for now. <laughs> Are you telling me the Illuminati is real? <laughs> Hold up. Gosh, damn that. Okay, that shadow scared me. I thought there was someone behind you. There's some thick files. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Let me give you a little warning. Those things are filled with graphic, disturbing photos of all kinds of crime scenes. It's the kind of thing any normal person would ever want to look at. What did everyone want to be look at? Be careful. Huh? What do you mean? All those files? They're investigation reports for those different cold cases. These are internal documents for police eyes only. They're not the kind of thing you'd expect to leak. Oh? Hmm. So, are you finally beginning to understand the true splendor of this library? The entire reason I was interested in the library is because of this room right here. Hmm. It's home to the classified government documents, police records, things no ordinary person should would ever see. Isn't it magnificent? This can't be for real, right? Such That's ignorant. your guys' problem. Anything that doesn't fit into your pre preconceived reality, you label it as a lie. Well, it's not that. It's just, it's not like I totally refuse to believe it, but... I mean, there's just so much. How could anyone have pulled, put this all together? Hmm. I suppose it goes to show you how much power Hope's Feet Academy truly wields, or perhaps. <laughs> the Master Prime may have wanted to provide us with enough entertainment to keep us from getting bored. Uh, um, it's no use. I can't help up keep up with all this. It's just too unreal. Hmm. What's wrong? You still can't believe it? What about you? How can you believe it so easily? Things like that are usually impossible. What? What do you mean, usually? Usual? Normal? Ordinary? Simple? Those things don't exist anywhere in the real world. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. You don't pull your punches, do you? <laughs> Besides, what you consider usual is based on your common sense, right? What makes you think your own common sense applies to me at all? The documents gathered here are genuine. I have reviewed them multiple times, so there's no doubt. Reaction! Hold on a second, you're saying you've read all these documents more than once? But all this has to be like top secret confidential confidential stuff, right? So why hmm. my family has a reading room just like this at our home. Ours is bigger, of course, and not as dusty. Huh? Hmm. Members of the Togami family have access to any variety of government related documents. That includes foreign powers as well as domestic. <laughs> How's that possible? So in I already words, told you there's a secret council that controls the world from the shadows. <laughs> my family is a member of that council. <laughs> my god. We got a kook Illuminati, or not, maybe he's not a kook, but like we got a, a Illuminati High Council here. Spooky. And I have within me the bloodline that allow me to one day bend the world to my will. <laughs> but to become such a ruler, I must know all levels of the world backwards and forwards. So whenever I have time, I like to review whatever documents and materials that interest me. Which is why I can proclaim, without a doubt, that the materials gathered here are the real thing. This is beyond believing or not believing. Biakia is actually starting to scare me more than the actual mastermind. Yeah, no, Biakia as like leader of the world, I don't. Just saying, I don't, I don't find it very nice. Hmm. And what always interested me the most were the cold case police investigation reports. Reading through those reports have always been a hobby of mine ever since I was little. It's excellent mental exercise. We've solved more than a few of those cases just by reviewing the reports. And among all those reports, one of my recent favorites is the genocide chat case. As he talked, Miyakiya grabbed a specific file from the shelf. That's right. This is the complete case file. Every single report surrounding the genocide chat case has been compiled in here. Holy crap. This, this lad's smart. He's like... I don't know. He does detective work. Like, without even trying. I don't know, it's interesting. I wonder what this man's IQ is. Every single report surrounding the Genocide Jack case has been compiled in here. Hmm. Because there are so many, allow me to quickly summarize the main points. To begin, there are two notable characteristics in every Genocide Jack murder. The first characteristic is that at every crime scene, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. And then the second... is that when the victims are murdered, their bodies are suspended in a certain way. Bloodless written the blood and the victim's body suspended. It's exactly the same as what happened to Chihiro. 
Save your surprise. The best part is yet to come. Hmm. For the second characteristic, where the victims are suspended, the only one who knows about that particular fact remembers the police and other higher-ups. By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found out. Huh? Hmm. In other words, no one on the news, and no one online, nobody knew about that aspect of each crime. Only key officials in the killer himself knew about the act of mounting the victim. Hmm. Now, if you recall Chihiro's corpse, it was suspended. Her body was most certainly mounted in this fashion. So, how could the killer have known about suspending the victim? That's right. That's the key question. But in fact, the answer is quite simple. So in other the words, culprit isn't a copycat killer, it's the real Genocide Jack. Gugh. In other words... That right there is the evidence that Genocide Jack has hidden himself among the rest of us. That Genocide Jack really is such a brutal, fiendish killer, really is walking around among us? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Things are really starting to get interesting, aren't they? Never imagined a killer with such a reputation would ever become part of our little game. Now, don't you think it would be good for you to take a look at what I've already seen? You might just manage to ferret out a clue or two. If you get down on your knees and beg, I might even show you myself. Interesting. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm begging. Um, Byakuya, about the Genocide Jack case file. Can you let me see it? That's fine. Well, you didn't beg, but I guess that's okay this time. Feel free to look at it in here, but you can't take it with you. Oh man, my character is slightly surprised. Nose itch. Byakuya handed me the file and I flipped through it with tense, nervous fingers. Suddenly, my hand stopped. I had re reached the page where photos from the scene of each crime had all been collected. Uh, blah blah blah, fixed stab, multiple stab wounds. Price is bonding belief to have inflicted the same scissors that our later use in passion. Okay, um. Ken Harada, uh, blah blah blah. One thing came, became perfectly clear as I read. All the killers counted for were killed and suspended exactly the same way. Scene of every article of those written? Yeah, with scissors, though. Hmm. Now, take a look at the next page. You'll find another interesting tidbit. The next page? <laughs> More scaredness. Profiling results? All the crimes took place either on weekdays at night or during holidays, either day or night. The most common time for the killings to take place was on holidays in the afternoon. Based on these facts, it would be suggested that the suspect may be a student. Evidence suggests that the suspect lingered at the steam, but when they did leave, they were in a panic. Because an eyewitness has never come forward, it's unlikely there was any external reason for this. This confused behavior suggests that the suspect may potentially suffer from dissociative identity disorder. What is that again? All right, I'm, I'm gonna do a bit of research. What is dissociative identity disorder? Two or more distinct personality states. Oh, I thought that was multiple personality disorder. <laughs> Hold up. Doesn't that describe Toko? She's having two different personalities. She's like having a... She's having an inner conflict with Genocide Jack. It's coming together. It's all coming together. I need to get back to my clock. So in other words, the key point here is that the culprit may well have a split personality. A split personality? Like the kind of thing you see on TV? Dude, Toko's words are starting to line up a bit more now. So I'm part of another totally unbelievable story. But this one is way more unbelievable than anything else up till now. Or maybe it really wasn't. I don't know. I feel like my mind has gone numb. Dennis and Jack case files would add to the truth bullets. Let's go. Alright, we should get going soon. Huh? Where are we going? Anywhere but here. We finished our business here, haven't we? Ah, wait, Byakya! 
He doesn't want me discovering his secrets about his family. As usual, Byakia turned and left without another word. I hurried out of the library to catch up. <laughs> well, this is where we part ways. I have some things to take care of before the class trial. Huh? Just all of a sudden like that? Come on. Enough of your annoying mis misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd be together the whole time? Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Move the investigation forward on your own. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. Just like that, he was gone. Just as quickly as he'd asked me to join him, he'd cut me off. In the end, I felt like I was just some plaything getting tossed around. At the same time, I've uncovered some really important clues thanks to him. The one that killed your hero and that murderous fiend is one of us. Who is it? Do that? Is there something? I have, to go. I have to go back to the crime scene. Check the boys' locker room, too. I tried. The others might have come up with some info I might find useful. I need to find out everything I can. Do, do, do. Oh, I clicked. Button to make my mouse slow. Uh, where is the locker room? This way. Okay, things are starting to align, kind of. Hey, it's you. Hi, Hifumi. Ding ding ding! Hifumi has discovered evidence revealing the identity of the culprit. I see you. Mm, another stats increase for me. Evidence? What did you find? Mm -hmm. I cannot reveal that just yet. But I guarantee that what I found will steal the killer's brat friends' lungs. Are you sure about that? Mm. Oh yeah, Miss Ludenberg mm. said she'd witness mm. something worthwhile too. Really? What'd she see? Well, she refused to tell me. It's like when a girl bullies the boy she likes. Right? Right? Oh, okay, so where's less now? Mm. The warehouse by the mm. dorm. She was there, but at the same time, not mm. there. Where? Okay. What's it going to be? Okay, well, I'm going to check the boys' room first. Yeah, no, I was right. Huh, this poster. It's a pop popular boy band called Tornado. Or Tornado. Somehow it doesn't quite seem to fit in the boys' locker room. Yeah, it's quite... Oh, God, I fucking hate it. I don't, I don't know what it is about playing Danganronpa, but it makes my nose itch. It just happens to be that way. Wait, I think there might be still something to find. Oh, there's a strange stain on the carpet. What is it? Okay, hold up. So, it's looking like... Is blood the simplest, the most nerve oody part, but the big breast is pretty noticeable too. Yeah? <laughs> Girl's locker room doesn't seem like this kind of place you'd find something like this. Oh, but wait, that reminds me, the poster is the, the other locker room is. That's right, there's definitely something strange about this. In the boys' locker room, there's a poster of a popular boy band. In the girls' locker room, there's a, po a poster of a big rusted swimsuit model. Could this poster have been switched? That's what I was thinking! But if they were, why? What reason would anyone have? Someone who knows a little bit more about the locker rooms. You know about locker rooms, right? You spend a lot of time exercising girls' locker room, right, Sakura? Used it nearly every day since it opened up. Sometimes Heaton and I use it together. Okay, then, let me ask you something. Do you think the posters in the boys' and girls' locker rooms could have been switched? I'm sorry. sorry, I can't really say. I've never really paid attention to the posters. I see. However. But there is something that's been bothering me about the locker room. You see, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish exercising. We have protein coffee? Mm. In the warehouse. It's not the highest quality, but I don't have a lot of other options. I mix protein powder with coffee, and I down a glass of it after exercising. Anyway, the other day, I spilled some of the carpet in the girls' locker room, and it left a stain. So the carpets were switched. A stain? But I don't see any stain on the carpet now. Exactly. I noticed it earlier. The stain has disappeared. You can only assume someone came along and cleaned it up. But still, isn't it unusually clean, as if there was never a stain to begin with? Disappearing stain. Wait, why? Why was crap switched? Mondo, what do you gotta say? Dude had a real complex. Oh. Same thing. 
Hey, Kyoko, have you made any progress on your investigation, Indeed. generally speaking? However, but I have to get going. I have something unrelated to take care of. Something besides the investigation? What is it? Well, Nothing you need to worry about. Just concentrate on the murder. But, but so then. before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Shihiro's body one more time thoroughly. Also, her handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. Goodbye. That's it. I'll be praying for your success. With that, Kyoko turned and left the girl's room. I guess I'll take another look at the body then. Your handbook is missing? That's definitely worth worrying about. Kyoko said I should examine the body one more time. I know she said thoroughly, but do I have but I do have my limits. Well I better give it a shot anyways. Let's see. She hands are bound with what looks like some kind of rope. The extension cord. The rope was used proper up in kind of crucifix position. Huh? This rope has a plug? Wait, so then this isn't a rope at all. But the more I think about it, the more that's not the only thing that concerns me. Uh, Chihiro's fatal injury was the blow to the head, which means someone struck her in the head in order to kill her. That's right, there's the issue of her being suspended in the fatal blow. At first, I didn't see any reason to think too much about either of them. But seeing them again after looking through the Genocide Jack files, something's not quite right. Yeah, they're not the same. What does this all mean? Well, one thing most likely to tie all these mysteries together is the true nature of the rope that was used to suspend your hero. And to figure that out, there's a certain place I need to revisit and look over again. Plus, it might help to look at the Genocide Jack's case file one more time. So... What I'm seeing... Is... Maybe... I don't know, maybe Byakuya is trying to pin it on Genocide Jack? I don't know. There's a thick layer of dust at the top of the dust. Guess not. Okay. And we'll look at the case file one more time. And it's the box of dust. The wooden box is empty. The extension cord was in there before. I'm gonna look at this one more time. Huh? It's gone. Did someone take it out of the archive? Well, the only one who would do something like that. Can't think of anyone but Byakuya. Huh. That's... Oh, there's still more I need to check out. Boop. The lamp. Huh? Lamp won't turn on. Oh, I see. It's not plugged in. Lamp cord isn't long enough to reach the outlet from here. The last time I saw it, it was definitely on, and it was definitely right here. Oh, that's right. Byakuya was using an extension cord. But there's no extension cord here now. I wonder if library desk lamp is added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. And I'm gone. Time to go talk to the magical Celeste. Honestly, Celeste sounds like a friggin' what's the word? I'm having a hard time thinking of the word. I don't know, something like princess from an anime. No, that's that's Rosalina. I was I was thinking for a second. Celeste sounds like some like galaxy princess or something. Uh. So I think I'm supposed to go to an inn. And where's the place? AoE disappeared. Uh, or IOE, AoE, whatever you want to say. Miss Aludenbug, what do you have to say? Can I talk to you? Thank you. Celeste, what are you doing here? <laughs> this warehouse is amazing. It has absolutely everything one might need to live a full life. From food to clothes to towels. There's an endless supply to choose from. I see that, but have you found anything related to the case? Most I knew you were going to ask me that. I thought talking about the warehouse itself might misdirect you, but I see it was pointless. Then you did find something. <laughs> Very well, I will tell you and only you. Actually. Last night I saw her here. Chihiro was in the warehouse. <coughs> what? Really? Mm -hmm. This was right before nighttime. Hmm? Hmm? What are you doing out this late? Oh. I mean, clearly... 
<sighs> That's a duffel bag oh, with, um, like, track clothes. I was just... Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? What? How did you know? Well, yeah. Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Mm. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. Have fun. <sighs> she stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It's almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. Yes, indeed. I assume she was merely stuck stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but it appears she ignored the nighttime rule and headed directly to the girls' locker room. If she hadn't broken our rule, none of this ever would have happened. <laughs> you get what you deserve, I suppose. So apparently, she went to the girls' locker room late at night in order to exercise without anyone knowing. But the strange thing is, there's no trace of the track jacket or duffel bag Celeste said she saw Chihiro carrying. I get it, the killer messed with crap. That's why I switched to the carpets, switched the, um, the posters, just messing with stuff. I guess we should ke check the incinerator, which would mean the killer would have gotten rid of it somehow. Okay, where would it be hidden? At the bottom of the pool? In the incinerator? You know, I have it. Mm. This is trash room, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Only Leon could have used the incinerator. Gotcha, gotcha. So where would Chihiro's stuff be at? In the bathhouse? It's a maybe. Maybe even in the sauna? Just exploring all my options. Underneath it all? Oh. Wait, what? What's this? Is it the heat search? Yeah. Oh man, I was thinking maybe it's hidden under the rocks. Okay. So nothing in the sauna area. Uh, laundry mat? Oh, this would be a place to hide clothes. here maybe washing machine which has nothing to do with the case well it had something to do with the bottom coin okay um eatery I don't know y'all I'm searching I'm doing my best hi there what do you guys freaking click click my gosh Oh, hi, Hina. How's Toko doing? Mm. Same as before, she won't come out and she just keeps on mumbling something about Genocide Jack. <laughs> so I just left her there. Y you left her there? My head was all swimmy and I got pretty... I was getting pretty hungry. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. Swimmy head, I get it. And you got an empty head, a smooth brain. Actually, ain't even a brain. Liquid. Yeah. Oh, but don't worry, I'm gonna go head back as soon as I'm done eating. Toko's not exactly pleasant, but I'm still worried about her. Speaking of which, what are you eating? A uh, donut, of course. Of course. There's two things I'm sure God created. Outer space and donuts. Hold on. Y'all, I'm getting a call. Okay. Call has been completed. So, continuing on. So, there's two things I'm sure God created. Outer space and donuts. R really? Mm. I bet you Hero would have liked to eat more donuts. Maybe that was her one big regret. Yeah. Oh, I should have tried to spend more time with her. Come to think of it, who did she spend time with? Well, yeah, she was a little bit strange. She didn't really hang out with the other girls much. It was like like she was trying to keep her distance from us. Actually, Sakura said something similar. 
She said that even though you and her invited Chihiro to exercise with you, she always refused. Yeah, totally. Yup, it's true. And it wasn't just us either. It was like she stayed away from all the girls. Was she just shy? Mm. I don't know. She talked to the boys all the time. Isn't it kind of weird to be shy around your own sex? But totally fine with the opposite? Unless you're gay. But no, no, even that, like... I mean, yeah. Yeah. Could be gay. You don't know. Oh, wait. Maybe... Maybe she was used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't judge a book by its cover, right? You think so? I never really saw her as that kind. Oh, girl. AoE's account has been added to the truth books. Oh, diggy da bong. We're getting to the class trial, boys and gents. Wait. <laughs> Ladies and gents. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? Sure. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. The class trial. Whoop, whoop, class You'll trial. You'll remember where to meet, right? Yes, Here's the elevator. The red door. <laughs> See you soon. I'm going. Begin the class trial, or it's about to begin. The red door is right through here. I like that it makes you walk to the, the red door each time. Man, there's a lot less people in here now. Ahem! So, is everyone ready to do what? Hmm? Am I blind? Or are we missing someone? Yo. Yo. Yeah, Toko's not here. Huh? And Toko is... You really don't remember? <laughs> kidding! I, I'm kidding. How could I forget that little nut job? She's a crucial part of the class trial this time. Okie dokie. I'll go ahead and drag her out here. Kicking and screaming. Just one moment, please. And just like that, he said a few minutes later, <laughs> he appeared dragging Coco behind him. Interesting. I t told him I didn't want to, but he forced me. I can't believe you would drag a girl around. <laughs> terrible. You're t terrible. Woo. So now everyone's here, right? Okay, then. Hustle on to the elevator and let's get this show on the road. I'll see you guys down there. Let's go. So, shall we get going? It's time to find out who killed Chihiro. Chihiro. I still... Okay, there, I got so much... I have so many... I have everyone in suspicion. Byakuya could be trying to paint it on Genocide Jack. Um, Toko, who I think is Genocide Jack. And then... Then, uh, Sakura, uh, Mondo, and Taka, because I feel like they'd be strong enough to just, uh, to be able to use the dumbbell and then, I don't know, lift people up like that. So, I don't know. She was so gentle, so calm and meek, nobody had any problems with her. Someone made the choice to kill a girl like that. And who does that be? And the murderer is one of us. Someone standing right here. Gosh, I, I straight up have no idea. Alright, let's talk to all of them. I gave you plenty of work. Let's show us how far your logic can take you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess I won't help as much on this one. <laughs> I have an account. You're actually a truth bullet. There is something odd about Toko's behavior. I do not think your shock is enough to explain it. Yeah, you're here. Fucking Toko, man. What's got her so worked up? I don't know. Oh, Miss Fujisaki, sad. I must admit, for being 3D, she was quite remarkable. Of course, just the idea of 3D makes me cringe. Oh, boy. I don't know why the killer did what they did, but I'm sure it'll work itself out. Justice always prevails, right, bro? Shall we, go? Shall we begin? Well done. I will uncover the villain who performed such heinous acts on a weaker individual. Hmm. You ready? Are we doing this? Yep. All right. Into the depths. To the depths of Tartarus we go. We have no choice, right? We have to do this. It's true. Yes. I gave a small nod in reply. With one last deep breath, I walked towards the elevator on shaky legs. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. And as soon as everyone was on, the elevator began to descend. I couldn't get a handle on my emotions. Couldn't stop speculating. 
seems to be a little bit less people in this elevator. Steel block sank with heavy ch chunk or clunking sounds deeper and deeper into the ground. And as we went deeper, the uneasiness of my heart grew bigger and bigger. The elevator was un unaffected, however, and continued to descend without hesitation until finally. Bing! It came to a sudden stop. What do you think, guy? Redecorated, isn't it so fresh? Don't waste our time with stupid question. Let's get this over with. Good, good. You're a rip raring to go. Gotta say, I don't hate it. Not at all. Okay, then, let's get this show on the road. Everyone, please find your assigned seats. And so, the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. Yes, I'd like to save. Boop, all over right. Oh, yeah, I gotta like. Increases the influence gauge by two. Did I get any new ones? Huh. Look at that. Allows you to reload two bullets at once. Well, I only got one extra, so. <laughs> Good enough. Oh, wait. And then this, we got. Oh, truthful, so we got 16. When did we get 16? My gosh, and we got so many, like, accounts. Four to be exact. Rip Chihiro. Finish said proper. Actually, you know what I could do? I could leave y'all at a cliffhanger. Yeah, that's that's the good stuff. We'll uh, we'll finish preparations when we get back. Yeah. So thank y'all so much for watching. If you're enjoying. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're going to be starting Chapter 2, Clash Trial, to find your hero's murderer in the next episode. So, adios.